I met him right after 9-11. He was here because of the Hearst building and in the preliminary stages. And my good friend, the publisher, George Weidenfeld was in town with his wife and we were supposed to go to the opera and the opera was closed. So we were going to have dinner and he said, I want to invite our friend Norman Foster. He's stuck here because of 9-11. His wife's just had a new baby. He'd like to go home, but it's, and that's the first time I met Norman. I was there for the opening of the foundation in Madrid, but I longed to go back, and now I see that he's doing another foundation on the vineyard, and I think that it is a, will be an amazing research tool for architects, designers, even engineers, and the general public who want to learn more about architecture. I mean, he's giving back in these foundations. It, it seems to continue the way he launched his career in terms of research, innovative design, and an uncompromising assessment of his own work. He never lost those early values. Well, I think for all these, you must understand the past. You can't just launch into a new practice without understanding the many great movements that came before you. And then once you've studied those, you should not be afraid to do something new, to build on what you have learned and not be afraid to take risks. See, Norman always took risks which I'm very admiring of. Um, I should tell you that the first time I was ever struck, I grew up near Chicago, so I was aware of Frank Lloyd Wright and the buildings that he did. Uh, and then when I went to Yale, I saw a Louis Kahn building. And that, I mean, I was there as the mother of a student, and I was electrified by it and thought, oh my God, architecture, this is a... And then the, I was in Hong Kong a couple of years later with a Vassar group. And the president of Vassar was then an architectural historian. And she said, we must see whatever else in Hong Kong, we must go see the new uh, Hong, Shanghai and Hong Kong Bank. And we went, a few of us, and she was marveled at it and showed us all the amazing things that this building was doing and innovating. And that was a very exciting and vivid moment for me. So it's certainly a global practice, which is one of his great strengths. But uh, I think that uh, as modernism came under a rather well-founded critical argument, Norman believed still that architecture could deploy and enjoy the best of scientific thought and technology, as well as design. So he rather skirted that and showed that he could answer those criticisms in a very wonderful way.